Hey folks, Steve Stack. I am joined with Mr. Ben Baird uh, this afternoon out here in Las Vegas. We're out here at the National Home Builders Association International Builder Show 2024. And uh, a lot of people out here, if you ever have a chance, you ought to come out and visit. And so a lot of hustle and bustle going on around us, but uh, Benny and I are gonna take a second and we're gonna talk about one of the products we manufacture, Ben, the hardwood flooring. Yep. Uh, what kind of whistler do we offer in our hardwood floors nowadays? Uh, anything two and a quarter all the way up to uh, six inch. So anything past six inch, uh, you might have some stability issues. So we try to keep it under six inch. Uh, I know we have done some wider plank flooring in the past, um, if that's really what you're looking for. And and that 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 leads me into my next my next thought process is when you when you say about. Uh, the stability of the floor. Yep. Different woods react differently to uh, environmental conditions, uh, humidity, uh, moisture, and and even dryness. And some some woods react a little more drastically. Uh, some woods they'll hang tough. And yep. one one of those woods that's that's very good. And due to the nature that it's cut would be a quarter sawn product. Yep. And we offer uh, the quarter sawn in the red oak, the white oak, uh, both beautiful products versus a plain sawn or a face grain. Tell us a little difference about that. Yeah, so um, on a quarter sawn product, you're gonna get more flecking on the face. Um, that also brings up the live sawn white oak we just recently started selling. Uh, it's more of a character grade product, but in that you're gonna get um, character, some live sawn flecking and then also flat sawn uh, all in the same product group. So that's a pretty neat product as well. We touched on, you know, the uh, quarter sawn white oak and I have a sample of it. And if, if we can show the folks, you reference this flecking yep. that exposed on the quarter sawn white oak. This just has a, a clear natural finish on it, has a little bit of that grayish undertone, which is characteristic of the white oak, but, uh, we offer this in the plain sawn, and as we are showing here, the quarter sawn, great floor. Yeah, definitely, very popular, and uh, as we touched on already, especially with the quarter sawn, very, uh, very stable. You know, you have the stability. Yep. Uh, nice rating on the jacket table. Yep. Uh, great high traffic floor. Yeah. No, right. it's definitely a beautiful product. Yeah. So I've got a couple more over here, and we're talking about. The red oak, very versatile. This is in a plain sun, but again, we've taken in on on a, a color chart. We might be at like a four or yeah. a five with this with this particular color, which is uh, uh, our early American, our Beard Brothers early American, and our pre-finished series of floors. But it shows if you want to hold on to that. It shows the versatility of the wood versus this is our Danish stain on the red oak floor. Same species, two different stains. And as we, as we touched on a little bit earlier, this is a great value for flooring right now versus the white oak or the quarter sawn products. You go into a stain color like this, most people are not gonna be able to tell us in this Danish whether it's a red or a white oak underneath. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult to tell the difference. So, you know, man, we have options. So there you have it, folks. Uh, a lot of options when it comes to hardwood flooring. Uh, pick the floor that fits your usage and then color, color schemes, it's on you. We can go from zero to 10 and everything in between. So till next time, we'll be coming back at you.